And we're back with another episode of One of These Things Is Not Like the Other. You may remember uh, my 1886 formula Bon Ami, which was made with tallow soap. This is uh, the tallow soap that I dried out of that snot that came out of the Bon Ami. By the way, tallow is a um, fat product, usually from around the kidneys, usually from beef or pork. So this is a this is a non-vegan product. When you break it, it it's it's a little a little bit slimy. Um, just feels like soap. This is the non-1886 stuff. So this is six uh, cans of the 1886. This is 12 cans of the non-1886. Remember that was a surfactant, and surfactant is um, a kind of a detergent, sort of like what you'd put in laundry or something. Um, it's a little more brittle, doesn't have that slimy feeling that you get from the tallow soap. Um, but anyway, I got all this stuff and figured I'd try to do something with it. So let's try something. Let's start with the tallow. I intentionally went ahead and completely dehydrated it. Let's go ahead and rehydrate it and see what happens when, uh, when we heat it back up, add a little water and let her melt. 15 minutes on the hot plate and there's my soap. That's got about 150 mLs of water in it. So now let's uh, do the same thing with the uh, detergent and uh, see what we get. It's nice smooth soap. It's an hour later. I had to add a lot more water and a lot more heat. In fact, the stuff is simmering to maybe slightly gently boiling. Um, so the difference is that this stuff was really more of a water assisted melting process. This has really been more of a dissolution. I don't think it's actually completely dissolved, but it's pretty close. So I'll turn this off and we'll uh, come back tomorrow and see what these two things look like. Here's the next day. Here's my soap and uh, it's soap. It's clearly soap. Um, it's soapy. It's a little, it's not quite hard, but it's pretty good. So I'm calling that soap. Here's my detergent and it's, uh, it's not soap. It's um, kind of like a powder suspension. I, I stirred it up. It, it had actually separated into water and powder. So I'm not done. I still think I can turn both of these into some usable product. Um, so we're going to keep moving and see what we can come up with using a little imagination. Let's see what we can do with this. Apparently it's made of um, mica powder and I have literally no idea how much to use. It says red but it looks pink. I remelted this uh, soap because it was it was pretty firm but it was just kind of a little spongy and we wouldn't be able to really make a, a good satisfying soap with it. So I got that. Luckily I got the organic white beeswax pellets. Um, it's one of the finest and purest beeswax everywhere. They've triple filtered it, thank God it's been triple filtered. And it's great for food, cosmetics, and pharmaceuticals. A wide variety of use for skin moisturizers and creams. You know, I'm thinking bath fizzy. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking sphincter. I'm thinking all kinds of good ideas with this stuff uh, because there's nothing I like better than working with organic products, as you well know. Um, but first, let's put some in the soap and see what it does. My guess is that uh, putting too much of this in would be a lot worse than putting in too little. I'm actually going to go kind of aggressive here. This is a quarter of a cup. We'll just uh, we'll pour it in and melt it down and see what it does. So turning our attention back to our surfactant mixture, I'm going to go ahead and put some of this beeswax right there in that mixture because remember how they'd sort of separate it out and I need to see if I can do the same thing I did with the soap. Um, 
you wouldn't normally just add wax to a thing of water, but of course this isn't really water. It's a solution of water and detergent, and that's what detergents do. They make things like what wax mix with things like water. So hopefully we'll get a nice um, mixture here that I can use for uh, something useful. Um, it's really kind of fun, actually. It's sort of a little stoichiometric exercise to see exactly what the right proportions are to get what I'm looking to get. Um, don't get to do that very often anymore. I think adding too much is probably worse than adding too little, so let's uh, let this stir up and see what we get. That beeswax did give uh, my detergent mixture a pretty nice sort of spongy consistently, but it's just a little chalky, especially as the water's kind of drying out. So I think we need to add um, another ameliorating factor to see if we can't uh, get this stuff to a level of beauty and perfection that uh, my skin deserves. Um, so let's try adding some of this stuff, see if it helps us. Um, thank God that it's non-GMO and it's a life essential. We'll just put in a little bit of this here glycerin and just make that stuff silky smooth and uh, pretty and fun to live with. I've got my glycerin and my beeswax and my detergent all sort of mixed together and I think it's, well I don't know if it's ready but I think it's ready to pour out so I'll just uh, pour this stuff out and see what we get. I do have to admit that I really like the color. Um, the consistency seems good. We'll have to let these things set overnight and see what we get, but I'm very hopeful that I've got something that, uh, that is appropriate for my delicate and fair complexion. Well, this is incredibly satisfying. I think everyone will agree that these are just uh, delightfully unattractive. I mean, honestly, that's really satisfying. I, you know, this stuff might be merch. That's really, really nice. Um, anyway, uh, we'll get back to the soap later. I'm going to call this one an episode just because I don't really have time to get into the soap part of it. So please feel free to like and subscribe if you want. Or, you know what, if you don't want, I, that's all, that'll be fine. And if uh, you want to tell your friends, I'd love it. But if you don't want to tell your friends, well, that's fine too. But either way, we'll uh, go ahead and keep working on whatever we're uh, working on now. I'll get back to the soap issue shortly. Uh, thanks very much for watching and have a great day.